Well, that's right, Lara. Charges just filed, but the suspect not in custody. Tonight, police are looking for this man, 32-year-old Simon Pohl. He's charged with possession of methamphetamine and also criminal use of an explosive device for cases that include this one. There were nuts and washers and bolts put in the pipe to do the destruction. It went off at 5 in the morning right outside Sean Irwin's house. When it was over, Sean's truck was shredded and his doors blown out. It blew a hole in the floorboard. It blew a hole in the roof. The windshield's gone. All the windows were gone. Uh, it, I mean, it'll start and run, but it's just demolished. This is the second car bombing in Leavenworth in the past month, but in the first, the car burned. Police tell us they believe the vehicles were targeted and not randomly chosen. But whatever the reason, the chief says this is no small matter. We've been in consultation with the ATF about the devices. Our bomb squad and arson investigators are working hard on the forensic part of it. We're working awful hard and we're continuing to make good progress. Sean says he's just glad neither he nor his two children were anywhere nearby. And he's hoping justice in his case means an arrest very soon. I believe people like that should be behind bars forever. Again, police consider Paul armed and dangerous. If you have any information about him, you're urged to contact Leavenworth Police immediately. We're live in Leavenworth, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News.